Hey guys, it's Miss Michelle Bell and Corona here. I was going to teach you how to do the one-handed cartwheel trick or uh, one variation of that today. But before we get started, I just wanted to throw in a little disclaimer. Just remind everyone that hooping and tumbling um, does have their own risks involved and some of those are personal injury. So you'll be attempting these at your own risk and I cannot be held responsible for any injuries or property to damage or damage to property that may occur. Before you do this, you want to make sure your joints are all warmed up, you've stretched all your muscles groups, and you need to have a solid one-handed cart roll first. If you don't have that, then you need to work on that before uh, attempting this. Um, you need to have open space, uh, preferably a mat or a soft, flat ground, and remember you're doing this at your own risk. So if you're nice and stretched out, let's get started. So, um, like I said before, make sure you're really warmed up, you have an open space, preferably a mat, and you need to have your one-handed cart roll down um, very solid. So if you don't have that down yet, you need to make sure you do that first before you work on this. I'm going to demonstrate to the right first. Um, you're going to prep like you're going to do the one-handed cart roll. We're going to start with our hoop. Um, right hand up, right leg forward. And when you do your cart roll, you want to make sure you do it in a straight line. I imagine a straight line where my foot is. And then that's where I'm going to land my hand, and then also where my feet are going to land at the end of the cartwheel. And I also think of keeping my body really straight and going up and over my hand. You don't want to go at an angle, like um, putting your hand out here and your feet are over here. You want to be and then your body in a straight line as you go over in the cartwheel. So I'll demonstrate what that should look like. So um, hopefully that looks like a good straight line to you guys. Um, if you don't do a straight line, then you or the hoop can hit each other, you'll collide, and this trick is not going to be successful for you. Um, the other thing that you need to keep in mind when doing this is your left arm, the arm that we're holding the hoop. You're going to be hooping in the same direction that we are doing the cartwheel, but I'll talk, to, talk about that when we pick up the hoop in a minute. Um, we want to keep this arm at about a 90 degree angle. If your arm and your body are going to make a 90 degree angle with the ground. and the key is to try to hold this arm at about even to where it is now the whole entire time that you do the cartwheel. If you don't want it to move up or you don't want it to move down, this is when a lot of people attempt this trick and they hit the ground, it's because their arm is moving down while they do this. So just think about keeping this hand in the exact same spot the entire time while we do our straight cartwheel and keeping your arm here. So I'm going to have it at a 90 degree angle now and try to keep it about the same. It's going to move a little bit, of course, because you're doing the cartwheel, but it's going to be great. So notice how when I land, I'm still at about a 90 degree angle. And um, that's key. So then when you add the hoop, um, a lot of people think that when the, where the hoop is revolving and where you started makes a big difference. But really, if you have your arm here at this 90 degree angle, as you can see, it's not going to hit the ground. It's actually like quite a ways from the ground. So if you can just hold your arm steady there the whole time, then that's one of the biggest tricks that's going to help you um, get the hooping cartwheel down. So we're going to try out the hoop now. We're moving. Uh, we're doing the right-handed cartwheel. So right hands up, our right legs forward. We're going to move in this direction, forward or clockwise. So that's the direction in which my hoop is rotating right now um, from my perspective. And so like I said, we're going to do the cartwheel in a straight line. Our body is going to be nice and straight. Legs are straight um, up and over our hand. And hold our arm out here as much as possible. And hooping in the same direction we're moving. One, two, three. And that time I did just skim the ground just a little bit. Um, I normally have a little bit of a different prep, so it's a little bit easier. I actually started learning this trick by doing, uh, running into it, so you can always try that as well, just doing like a little curve run and a prep. Um, so, oh, sorry, kitty. Anyways, that was Gary. Um, so that's to right hand side. Like I said, you want to make sure you're just hooping in the direction that your car is moving. Your car needs to be in a nice straight line and just try to keep this arm at about even. There you go. To the left hand side, um, I can try to attempt this really quick. Um, I'm not as strong at this, but you can take all the advice that I give to the right handed people and just flip it to the other side and it would make, it would be the same directions, but I can try to demonstrate, don't hold me to this, I'm not very good at my left-handed, 
But you would start with your left arm up, left foot forward. You want your right arm to stay about even to the ground. And then I'm just going to make sure I try to do my cartwheel as straight as I possibly can. So I don't know how that looks, but that is demonstration of to the left. And so anytime trying this, remember you're doing this at your own risk. And please be careful and nice and warmed up. And there are more variations to that, but that's just one of the one-handed, one variation of the Carol's Looking Trick. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you.